I've decided it's time to get rid of these brassicas. We've put them in last autumn to try and get a spring harvest and they're not really doing anything. They're not even forming heads because we've had a bit of up and down weather since the very beginning of the year. But now they're just taking up space and potentially they're going to bolt as soon as it gets any hotter. And we've got one side of the screen now cleared and we've put Italian plum tomatoes in and a few spring onions. So we're going to do the same on this side. But we might sow some basil with these ones just in front of those tomatoes. Because if you grow basil at the base of tomato plants, it improves the flavour of your tomatoes as they ripen. And it also deters pests as well because of its strong aroma. That's what we'll do. But the first thing to do is to rip these plants up. We have got a bench across the back of this greenhouse as well. But we're going to leave that there this year and we're going to put some container peppers on it. Because the back end of this greenhouse doesn't get sunlight all day long. But if anything is raised above ground level, as with that bench, then it does. So we'll leave that in situ, we'll get these ripped up and we'll get some tomato plants put in. And then that's this greenhouse set up for the season and then we'll move on to the next one. At least that way we're getting something done. Just before we continue with today's video, I just want to say thank you very much to Robin Roberts, who's made a donation to the channel. Every donation we get on this channel is massively appreciated. It helps us with the costs towards things like compost, all the feeds that we need, and trays for putting the seeds in, so we can keep putting out more and more content to help everybody get the best results they can every single year from whatever time of gardening that you're doing. So thank you very much for that Robin, really appreciated. You can actually eat cabbage leaves as they are, you don't have to wait till they form ahead. But for the moment I'm just going to use these as compost. I think these Savoy cabbages are on the way out anyway. I mean, you've got to think that they've been in ground since early autumn last year. And now, we're in the middle of May. And I'll show you a bit closer up what they look like. Pretty sure that it shouldn't be growing like that. That to me is not really forming an head. The leaves just seem to be all over the place. So I think we're really wasting this time. Although I must admit, it is tempting to keep some of these leaves and just boil them up or shred them and use them in a stir fry. No, I'm going to put them in compost. That one's been planted exactly at the same time as these and look how small it is. Just shows you how up and down everything's been since early last year. So now we need to give it a better dig over, get some weeds out pop a bit of feed in and then at least we can get some tomato plants in. Well that's a quick dig over, now we'll rake it and get all those weeds out. Well, you can see it's very dry in here as well, so Brad's going to need a very good watering once this dust settles. <coughs> These are tomato plants that I'm putting in here today. Italian plum ones. They're not huge plants, but I think they're big enough to go in. And I did say yesterday, I'm not going to start putting plants on to grow bigger for a few weeks when we're creeping towards the end of May. The sooner we get them in ground and let them start growing properly, the better. So we've got five this side at Greenhouse. And I'm going to put another five that side and we're leaving quite a gap between them somewhere in the region about 18 inches but that's all right because we can also interplant in between these as I was saying earlier we could put basil in between the plants and improve the flavor of these tomatoes as they ripen but we could also put other things in between as well fast harvest salads although we're trying to keep all the salads 
off at ground this year and in containers in that container garden because they work a lot better. We'll make us mind up when it comes to it. The main thing is to get this greenhouse set up with these tomato plants. And then we can clear off this bench and start bringing in all those peppers in two litre pots and get those to grow on. We've got lots and lots of things that we still need to move into larger pots and we're going to be doing it over the next couple of weeks and hopefully get every greenhouse set up before end of May. So I'm just going to make the holes in advance. I'm putting a bit of bone meal in bottom for each one as well just to get nutrients to those plants as fast as possible. So now we'll get these plants in. It don't really matter which ones I pick, they're all pretty much same size anyway. But they have got plenty of roots, give them a bit of a ruffle. And I'm dropping these in, as always, nice and deep, right up to those first leaves that came out. We'll try and keep them as straight as we can at the same time. Only just above the level of that soil. So basically burying them right down to there. Hopefully we don't have any problems we're insects damaging these plants before we even got chance to get established. We don't want that. And that's his last one going in. Very easy job to do. Once you've prepared that ground, of course. There we go, quick easy job and we've got all those tomato plants in this greenhouse for the season now. So 10 Italian plum tomatoes all together. The ones we put in a week or so ago are starting to put on a nice bit of growth now. And I'm not going to bother watering these in because they was quite wet when I took them out of those pots. So there you go, as much as I really didn't want to pull up those plants that we've been growing for so long, it's now come to a point where I've got to. If I'm hoping to get any amount of tomatoes out of these greenhouses by end of season, so we've sacrificed those to make way for those warmer season crops. And we have still got quite a few plants left. So obviously these ones will be going in containers and we'll see how they get on there as well. But that greenhouse is now set up. We've got lots of these peppers that we've transplanted into two litre pots. They'll go on that bench behind there. As a rule, you're not supposed to plant peppers and tomatoes in the same area because they're both members of nightshade family. So they're prone to the same diseases. But we're not planting them in ground. We're planting them on a bench away from the tomato plants. So I think we should be all right. But if we do see any problems occur, then obviously we can just move the peppers somewhere else. But we just want to get one greenhouse filled up and then we'll move on to the next one until it's all done. If we dig his eels in and we carry on over this coming weekend, we'll have more than half of that job done way before ending next week. I hope all your plants are starting to pick up now and you're feeling a little bit better than we all were a few weeks ago when everything just seemed to be doing nothing. But we are a community of gardeners on this channel. We all stick together. We pass on instant tips through the comment sections of these videos. So we're all there to basically help each other. Not everybody knows everything about everything. But it's really useful that people on this channel do contribute in that way. It's to warmer, sunnier days ahead. And we're all looking forward to a really good harvest by end of 2023. Thank you very much for being part of the channel. I really do appreciate it. And thank you for all your support. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel, please hit that subscribe button, press that notifications bell. 
and we'll see you on the next one. Take care and enjoy your weekend.